you're still getting great drops between the energy and oh my lord ah, help me no what's up guys dexon here and i'm here to show you exactly where to go and what to do to kill these new nightmare creatures that were released with the new grandmaster quest children of ma so getting to them is very simple you just got to go to the world gate with your six stage circuit go in here enter it should already be set at Freneske, and then you're going to go to the ritual site now before i start fighting these i want to let you guys know that these guys are not that hard to kill it does get tricky when you get more than one of them attacking you at the same time because of they have a special ranged attack that can do a lot of damage if you do not switch to range prey so when i come here i usually will bring my overloads a few prayer potions just because i have penance right now and sarah brews i have taken yaks and lasted two to three hours here without having to bank you'll see the nightmares as soon as you go into the west of the ritual site and well they're really simple and easy to kill you do have to watch out for their ranged attack it can hurt a lot anywhere from two to 4k health in one hit so you make sure you got to change your uh, range prey on and you'll be completely fine here if you don't change it however it like i said it does hurt that is the range attack right there if you do swap your prayers you're looking at like 400 damage nothing bad at all so just like that it's very easy to kill they are weak to earth spells so that does make it uh pretty easy to kill all right guys i'm gonna take you through a quick kill here i usually like to drop them right around 20,000 with some basics before i go into thresholds and now that we're here, you hit them with a quick and easy asphyxiate, dropping them way low, and that is it. Easy money, quick, no questions asked. You're not going to have to worry about the, the range attack that's going to come in. You can just sit on this easternmost part, sit here, rinse and repeat, and continue to do it over and over again. All you have to really worry about is just prayer. Sometimes you're not going to kill them fast enough and they will still get off that ranged attack on you like this kill here may not be quick enough So you just have to be mindful of it And here it is coming just change your quick prayer over to Arranged and then that's it didn't take hardly any damage with soul split easy money And this is how you're gonna earn about four to five mil currently in the game drop a deep impact on the ass and then hit them with a wild magic and that's gonna be pretty much game over for him if they still get off a ranged attack like this and he died make sure you still change over your range prey or else you will still take all of that damage it's kind of buggy but it happens but at least you can kind of negate that damage still and once again same thing rinse and repeat Once you get more comfortable with these nightmare creatures, you can go ahead and start moving more west to where you're fighting two or three of these guys at a time. I wouldn't suggest it unless you have some good perks and planted feet, uh, so that way your sunshine lasts longer. While you're fighting one, just one by itself, you really don't have to worry about even using an ultimate. I just use those three thresholds and the rest is history. To me, it makes no sense. Obviously, you're going to waste a lot of sunshine. Ha ha ha. All you have to do is just rock these three thresholds and you'll be completely fine. And stunning them is key. You want to keep them stunned up. If you can do that, you'll kill them without even having to worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this small guide. Um, I know I'm not the best at killing these guys yet. They are still new. They've only been out for a day. So the only thing you really have to be mindful of is keeping that prayer changed over when they're about to hit up the ranged attack. So even though you kill them and if they start the animation for the ranged attack, you will still get hit by it. So make sure once again, you are changing over to the ranged prey and then back over to soul split once you're hit. Start off with just killing one at a time before you move into the center of the room. And that's it. 
the the drop rates, like I said earlier, did get nerfed for the gloves. It's I don't know if it's confirmed anywhere, but I've killed enough of these to realize. Look, I went from getting one to every hundred kills. Now it's one every three to four hundred kills. So it does suck, but it was kind of overpowered. I was making a lot of money just killing these guys, and. They're, as you can see, they're not hard to kill at all. You're still going to get noted two-handers. You're still going to get the energy, the blood runes, the soul runes, the dragon battle axes, and the rune claw drops. So you're still looking at about four to five mil an hour, and that is still insane money for doing this. It's nearly AFK. Just throw on a range protection prayer on your bar like I did, and that's it. Done deal. Enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide or the walkthrough, however you want to look at this. I know it's not much of either because I, I'm not that good at them, but I'm doing okay. I'm making money. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you have any tips of your own, and maybe I can throw them in a new video, or, or don't. I don't care. Whatever. Nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you like the content. I'll keep it rolling. Have a good one. Peace.